y'all doing at PIA? I'm Devin Powell, and I'll be your comedian for the moment. <laughs> oh man, first, well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> like, I don't know, it just seemed like you never really want to be the first one to go up on stage, because that's when everybody's like at their strictest, like, dude, I, I just paid six dollars to get in here. That nigga better be funny. <laughs> Shit, gotta put all that pressure on me. I'm just trying to make you laugh. Damn, I'm trying to have a good time tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself, guys. I know you just meet me. Uh, I am a firm believer in equal rights and opportunities for everybody. That's the kind of guy I am. Yes. Okay. All right, I only got seven minutes. Calm it down. All right. <laughs> That's why every time I see a white guy, I immediately. Lock my car doors. <laughs> click, click. Not today, Whitey. Mm -mm. Things have changed. Obama. <laughs> I like that double click, too. Click, click. It's like one click for equality. Two clicks just to really make sure that fucker's locked. I feel safe. <laughs> I want to be the pioneer of porn, guys. Yeah, I've watched a lot of porn, and I've noticed that... Uh, I'm like I'm the only one masturbating. Fuck y'all. <laughs> and uh, one style of porn I noticed I have never seen is... a porno with all blind porn stars. I want to start this. No, 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 bear with me on it, okay? We'll call it, they'll never see it coming. You missed. <laughs> no, I just pictured the video. It was just. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you guys are uh, getting a good look at me right now. You, you know, checking out my attire here, wearing my Hot Topic pants, my thugged out Homer Simpson shirt. <laughs> I know, I, I feel like a conformist. I just never know what the hell to conform to. So I just look confused right now. <laughs> yeah, let's rock and roll, my niggas! <laughs> Catch me in a hearse with some spinners, yeah! What you listening to? Metallica and Method Man, dude! I'm on weed and cocaine, I feel normal. Thank you. Every time I watch Lost, I never know what the hell's going on. I actually uh, bought the first season on DVD, you know, just so I could catch up. I don't know where it is. Great title. Those producers are geniuses. Grilled chicken sandwich. Wow, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> that joke would have worked a lot better if Pat Williams did it, I'm telling you right now. Every time I watch that TV show Lost, I never know what the fuck is going on. I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> I bought the first season on DVD, Lost That Ho. <laughs> uh. You know what I haven't really heard in a while? Uh, two guys walk into a bar joke, you know, and I don't think too many people have really been working on those. So, if y'all don't mind, I'd like to give y'all mine. Yeah! All right. Let's do this. I'm probably down to three minutes. <laughs> two guys walk into a bar. One's crazy, the other doesn't exist. After downing a couple of empty mugs they weren't holding, they both get laid by two chicks who weren't there. Later that evening, the guy who doesn't exist gets hit by an invisible silent car that wasn't on that nameless street. He's then taken to a hospital that was never built, where it's never built by nobody that he has a made of disease that he was gonna die if he was real. The moral of the story is, believe in yourself. <laughs> and if that was too long for you, two Jews walk into a bar, Mel Gibson walks out. There you go. Yeah. You know, uh, South Park, I don't know if y'all watch that show, and South Park fans are like, good, I'm not alone. <laughs>
That's why they're still in the air. Awesome. <laughs> but anyway, in the tenth season, they did an episode uh, about Satan doing a, having a birthday party on Earth, and uh, at one point there was a Stephen uh, Irwin joke. You know, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. And uh, they caught a lot of flack for that. People were just like, dude, what the hell? It's too soon. It's just like, you know what? Maybe it was too soon. Maybe it wasn't. All I know is that Steve Irwin's like me. He has a really good appreciation of irony. And you've got to admit, that's got to be one of the most ironic deaths you've ever heard of in your fucking life. <laughs> this man has dealt with alligators, crocodiles, lions, tigers, bears, oh my, the whole shebang bang He gets killed by something that barely has teeth. <laughs> And I thought a lot about it, and it's like, you know what, if I'm going to go, that's the way I want to go. I want to have like a nice, ironic death. Just something that makes people go, wow, God really has a sense of humor, you know? Just something, like, maybe I'm sitting there pumping iron at the gym one day, and maybe from the second floor, a morbidly obese dude topples on top of me, and I get smothered to death. <laughs> on my tombstone, they'll put, here lies Devin Powell. He died by the very thing he was trying to avoid. <laughs> Or I take a severe blow to the head from a midget. Psh, fatality. <laughs> Here lies Devin Powell. But where the lollipop guild? <laughs> Maybe I'm in an ice cream truck that spontaneously combusts. <laughs> Here lies Devin Powell. I scream, you scream. I don't know if he screamed, but that nigga is dead. <laughs> Or maybe my, uh, I'm riding down the street one day and my tire blows out right in front of a national tire and battery at 12 in the morning and I get stabbed by a clown. <laughs> Ironic and creepy. <laughs> I did nothing to you. Or maybe I just get shot by a blind guy. Here lies Devin Powell. Never saw it coming. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's my time.